Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, video number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, week 3, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet and an OR function. We have an awesome topic here. We're going to pretend we are deciding credit worthiness. We work in the AR department. We're deciding whether or not we should extend credit to each one of these companies and we have three different rules now normally you have a single rule but I want to show you three different rules and these rules are just the tip of the iceberg there are many ways to determine whether or not to extend credit to a business here's one way sales last year for the company we're considering have to be greater than our hurdle of 25 250,000 and their asset value for the company we're considering to extend credit has to be greater than our hurdle 300,000 and their credit rating from credit rating agency number one has to be greater than or equal to three so here are our hurdles here's each one of the businesses and their information so rule number one well wait a second we have one two three things that have to be true so when we ask those three questions in order to extend credit we have to get true 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 hey that's and criteria and guess what when you're not doing a multi-conditional or a criteria based calculation like we've been doing in our last four videos and you just want either true or false we can use the and function so a and d we've done logical formulas already we've even seen that we can have logical tests in the if function but here this and function it's a logical function and all it does is you can put as many up to 255 I think it is logical tests and as long as all of them come out to be true and will deliver a true to the cell alright so here it is customer that's a relative cell reference hey are your sales greater than we said our rule says must exceed 250,000 so I'm gonna click on that 250,000 and F4 to lock it that's logical test number one that's a comparative operator anytime you use a comparative operator you get one of two things true or false comma to get to the next one company's asset value relative cell reference are you greater than our hurdle F4 to lock it logical test number two comma credit rating for this customer relative cell reference are you greater than or equal to credit hurdle for rating agency number one and I'm gonna lock it with the F4 now the thing about this is three logical tests all of them have to come out true for the and to deliver a true control enter and double click and send it down alright so here we can clearly see exceeds the limit exceeds the limit right bigger than 250 bigger than 300,000 and this one is greater than or equal to 3 this customer right here fails this test pass this test so false true and then here this would be a false also true 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 here we get oh true false false so you can see the situation only when we get true 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 does the and deliver a true now if we were going to go over here and for our spreadsheet we don't want true and false we want some text like extend credit or not extend credit credit no credit well we could use the if function so get this if oh look at that logical test well what does the logical test expect it just wants anything that evaluates to either true or false so guess what I'm gonna click escape I don't wanna to have to redo this is and delivering either a true or a false you bet it is even though there's three logical tests inside the and function itself delivers a true or false so I'm gonna copy that escape come over here equals if and there's the logical test control V that's gonna be true or false comma value if true credit in double quotes since we're never gonna change this it's always gonna be either credit comma or no credit we can hard code it into our formula 
text if it's hard coded into a formula always has to be in double quotes. Now notice this is uh, video 14 and we probably have 35 more videos to go in this class. We'll always follow our golden rule. Remember in video 1 we talked about our golden rule. If data can change put it into a cell and refer to it in your formulas with a cell reference. If it doesn't change then hard code it in. All right, close parentheses, control enter and I'm going to copy it down. So whatever logical test you create, whether it's with the AND, here we're going to use the OR function, here we're going to use both of them together. It doesn't matter how complicated your logical test gets. Once you get it, just slap it right into the logical test argument for the IF function if you don't want a true and false. All right, let's look at our next rule. Rule number two, it's at least one of the credit ratings is exceeded. Now exceeded means greater than. Up here we had, for this rule number one, we had greater than or equal to. right? So at least one of these credit ratings is exceeded. Well, that's either this one or this one. Now in this case, unlike when we were doing our calculation with OR criteria earlier, uh, earlier we could get a true or a false, but never two trues. Here we clearly can get two trues, but no problem. The OR function doesn't care. That's why we're using the phrase at least one. So I'm going to come over to cell H11 equals OR. Same thing as the AND, a bunch of logical tests. Hey, relative cell reference for this customer, there's their credit rating. Are you greater than the hurdle locked? Comma. Second credit rating, relative cell reference for this customer, are you greater? Does that exceed the hurdle, F4? All right, so it doesn't care if we get true, false, or false, true, or true, true. As long as one of them, boom, or will deliver a true to the cell. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So we can see here, true, true. False, true. Still gave us a true. False, true. True, false. And then these are both false. Now, for any one of these, you can click in the cell and run formula evaluator, right? Formula. Formula evaluator. Or you could use your keyboard, Alt M V. Now, this is an AND, right? So if I hit Enter, it will evaluate all three. So there we have our first test, true. Our second test, true. Our second test, true. Because and gets all three, boom, it delivers a true. If we come over and now click in H14, this is our OR, Alt M V. Enter, enter, we're looking at our first logical test. Hey, there's a true. Enter, enter, enter. True and false, no problem. As long as one of them comes out to be true, OR will deliver a true. All right, now. Rule number three, sales last year are greater than 250K and asset value is greater than 300,000 and late payments last year are less than two. So here's a late payment, right? So we need, for this rule, both of these must pass and you absolutely have to have one or zero late payments. Two and above is no good. Then the last part, and, at least one of the credit hurdles is exceeded. So notice there's one, two, three ands. That means we're going to use the and function and there'll be four logical tests. But notice that the last one is actually or. All right, let's see how this works. Remember also, if you click in this cell in F2, we've already done the last part of this test right here. Or, it tested two things. Notice it says, and at least one of the credit hurdles is exceeded. So you could think of the last and as just whatever's in this cell right here. All right, you ready? Equals and. Logical test, hey, relative cell reference sales greater than the hurdle, F4, comma. Asset value relative cell reference greater than the hurdle, F4 late payments, relative cell reference, less than the hurdle, F4. 
comma. And then finally, we have four logical tests. I'm just going to, for the time being, click on the relative cell reference right there, because I already did the heavy lifting for the fourth logical test right there. I know that inside that cell is an OR, but get this, no problem. If you've already done it, no problem. We can use a cell reference that just looks at a cell that gives us true or false. Close parentheses, control, enter. Double click and send it down. Okay, so for this more comprehensive rule, it's only customer four and five that pass the test. True, true. Yes, this one is less than two. And we got at least one of these, so it was this one. Let's go click in this cell. Actually, let's go back up to the top, hit F2. And we want to learn a very important rule about creating mega formulas. Now, we already we can clearly see that F11 is right there. And we know, because we just did it, that there's a formula in that cell. So if you get something complicated like this, and it's hard to actually type the whole OR out in this larger AND function, then go ahead and do it in a cell. Refer to it, boop, with the cell reference, copy down, see if it works. But now that you've completed this, we can click Escape, and the key is, is H is this formula and this function and is it looking at H11? Yes. If that's the case, we can go get whatever's in H11, copy and paste it, and put it into this formula. F2. And now this cell is in edit mode. I'm going to copy it. Control C, copying it in edit mode. Escape. Now I come over here and F2. Come over and double click that H11. H11 is pointing at that cell right there, but I went and got what's in that cell, and now I'm going to control V. And look at that. Let's step through this. There's logical test number one, logical test number two, logical test number three. And even though OR has a bunch of logical tests in it, the function OR is simply delivering a true or false to that fourth logical test. All right, control enter, double click, and send it down. All right, now, let's go run Formula Evaluator. Ready? I'm going to click in this cell, or even this one, F2, OK? So I got that whole formula. All right, Alt-M-V, and let's step through. Enter, enter, and the first logical test is a true. Enter, enter, the second logical test, true. Enter, enter, the third logical test, true. Ooh, look at this. Now it's inside the OR. So the OR gets a true, enter, enter, enter. The OR gets a false, but now the whole OR gets evaluated, and boom, it delivers a true to the AND. How many trues are there? There's four. So AND delivers what? A, a true to the cell. Escape. All right, uh, AND, OR, AND and OR together, and of course, if, and any one of these could have been used. I just decided for the illustration of the if to use that first rule and then deliver credit or no credit. All right, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about the if function. All right, see you next video.